everybody, and welcome to Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. I'm Pastor JL. This is my peculiar journey. Welcome. So glad that you're here. Okay, guys, it's November already. Can you believe it? Christmas will be here before you know it. In fact, Christmas will be here before you know it. Okay. I'm really excited. I'm so ready for Christmas. I love Christmas, but before there's Christmas, there's what? Thanksgiving. Yes, praise the Lord. But also, I've been listening to Christmas music all year long. It's true. Love me some Christmas music. Okay, here's the thing. This season has many different names, right? You have fall, you have autumn, and then there's a little bit of harvest check this out i made this last year it says harvest Woo! fun right so there's lots of stuff going on okay i want to talk about one word today let me show it to you autumn looks backwards for me i hope it's right ways for you but here's what i want to show you take a look at this okay you see how it says autumn right here Look at the word autumn. Now, if I were to cover that, the N, it would, well, it would still read autumn, right? So we look at it and we know it's spelled A-U-T-U-M-N. The N is silent, which means even though it's right there, we don't actually pronounce it. We don't say like autumn, right? No, we don't say autumn, because that would be like super, super weird but we say autumn. And so let's look at it one more time. Let's look at it one more time. Look at that. See, autumn, the N, autumn, if I cover it, there we go, it still reads autumn. The N is still there, even though the N seems silent, it's still there. And that reminds me of a Bible verse. Let me tell you the story. So there's this guy, prophet if you will. His name was Elijah. Not to be confused with Elisha who came after him, okay? Elijah had a great moment with the Lord and then bad guys were after him, okay? So Elijah finds himself in this cave and he's like trying to figure out what to do and God's like, what are you doing here? And then Elijah's like, you don't understand. I'm the only good one left, right? We talked about this like a few, few weeks ago. Here's what I love. In 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 12, it says, After the earthquake, a fire came. So so the whole story, right, there was oh, the wind. Lord wasn't in the wind. And then there's this earthquake. And so then, but the Lord wasn't in the earthquake. And it says, After the earthquake, a fire came, but the Lord wasn't in the fire. And after the fire, there was only a gentle whisper. See, to Elijah, God seemed silent. God seemed like he wasn't even there. It seemed like, God, where are you? And God, and for Elijah, he's like, God, I don't even know where you are right now. But Elijah had to quiet himself so he could hear the whisper of God. And that reminds me of the word autumn. Let's look at it one more time. Okay, autumn, remember? The N is always there. Even though the N is silent and we don't pronounce it, the N is always there. So just like... Just like the N is always there in the word autumn, we know that God is always there even when maybe we can't hear him. And even when maybe he seems silent, I wanna encourage you today that God is always there and we can always go to him. And maybe we need to be like Elijah and we need to quiet ourselves and listen. Listen for that gentle whisper. So let's pray for that today. Lord Jesus, we want to hear your voice. So God, in all of the, the hustle and bustle and everything that's going on in life and going on in this season, Lord, would you help us to quiet ourselves so that we can hear your gentle whisper. Lord, thank you for always being there. Thank you that you never leave us, you never abandon us, but you are with us always, even to the end of the age. That's what you said. We thank you for this. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Amen, friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember that every day with God is an adventure. So let's live God's adventures together. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.